Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's reaction time once again. This is a little bit different here, guys. We decided to do a little something on YouTube. What is this, Dan? This is the pitch meeting. John Wick's pitch meeting. Yes, this comes highly recommended from some people we know, so we're going to check it out. Yeah, absolutely. And being as we've been dropping all these John Wicks, may as well do it, right? May as so, well. Let's go have a little fun with them now. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I think this would be the perfect vehicle for Keanu Reeves. Uh, well, actually, we make movies, not cars, but thanks so much for coming in. No, 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 it's like an expression, <laughs> right? Like a like a star vehicle? Oh, a star vehicle. Yeah. Like a spaceship. No. Well, we don't make spaceships, but thanks so much for coming in. Okay, I have right, a movie sure, that would be great for Keanu Reeves. Oh, well, you should have led with that. What's the movie? Okay, good. So it's called John Wick, right? And it follows this guy named John Wick. That explains the title, making a lot of sense so far. Yeah, and so it's... <laughs> At the beginning of the movie, his wife dies. Oh, what does she die of? She dies of being the wife of the main character in an action movie. Oh, yeah, that can be deadly. Yeah, so she arranges to have a puppy delivered to John so he can have something to love after she's gone. Very adorable. Yeah, and so he starts to take care of this dog, right? He feeds it cereal because he doesn't have dog food yet, and he takes it on a joy ride around an airport and probably gives it some whiplash. Oh, no. <laughs> this spoiled Russian gangster kid Yosef wants to buy his car from him, but he's like, no, nah, it's not for sale. Okay. And in Russian, Yosef says everything has a price, and then John answers back in Russian, so Yosef is like, what? Oh, he's mad? He's upset? He's very mad. He's so mad that that night, him and his buddies break into John's house. How do they find out where he lives? Unclear. <laughs> and beat him up, and they steal his car. Fair well, as long as the dog is okay. And they kill his dog. Oh, no. <laughs> he's like, what? Yeah. Okay, some people better die for that. Oh, don't no. you worry, they will. That's the whole plot of the movie. John Wick is gonna kill people for an hour and a half because his dog was murdered? That's right, sir. I'm absolutely okay with that, to be honest. You can't mess with dogs. That's, no, right. That's right, absolutely. People like them much more than they like humans. They certainly do. So what happens next? Well, Yosef tries to get some yes, new plates for John's car from this guy, Aurelio, and Aurelio slaps him in the face. Oh, he does? Yeah, and so Aurelio gets a call from Yosef's father, Vigo, who's like the head of a criminal enterprise, and he's like, hey, I heard you hit my son what's up with that and what does Aurelio say well he's like yeah I did sir because your son stole John Wick's car and killed his dog and so Vigo's like oh oh why is this guy so scared of John well it turns out that John is like this amazing retired assassin right the Russians call him Baba Yaga Baba Yaga what does that mean it means the boogeyman sir you don't have to look it up it means the boogeyman okay it says here in Slavic folklore Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears as a deformed old woman with drooping breasts <laughs> I was so sure it was Boogeyman. Okay, yeah, I think that's Babeka. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I already I wrote Baba Yaga. <laughs> well, it's probably fine. Okay, good. I'd I'm have to, like, reprint this and everything. Yeah, don't don't even worry about it. So what does the droopy-breasted witch do next? <laughs> well, so Vigo sends a bunch of guys to his house to kill him, right? Okay. And so John has to kill them all using gun fu. Uh, I think that's pronounced gun kung fu. fu. No, it's not kung fu. It's a mix of jujitsu and judo and, uh, you know, shooting people in the face. Sends point blank in the face and also stab some of them, but mostly shoot them point blank in the face. Uh, that sounds Which intense. Does, yeah. Oh, it will be, sir. And we're going to keep that going throughout the movie all the way up until, I'd say, the high 70s. What, Fahrenheit? No, corpses. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Only the 70s. And we're also going to get glimpses of this, like, assassin underworld that John was a part of. Like, they have a whole system in place. Oh, they do? Yeah, like, the cops don't mess with them. They have these little gold coins they use as currency. They even have their own hotel. Oh, please explain this all mm -hmm. to me in excruciating detail. Actually, I feel like it might be kind of nice to just hint at the mythology rather than shoving it down people's throats. Can we at least throw a love yeah. interest in there for him? No, it's goodness no. Yeah, you're making it really tough for me to ruin this thing. Okay, what happens next? Well, John checks in at this assassin hotel, and there's, like, a code of honor there you can't kill anyone while you're in the hotel well so people must get shot all the time walking out the front door oh, <laughs> oh yeah <they> do. <laughs> joseph is at a nightclub so he heads over there oh and what happens there oh uh pow 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 <laughs> word that's being shot. yeah that's right pow 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 yeah so he shoots a guy in the head he shoots another guy in the head he also shoots a guy in the head drowns a guy and snaps his neck actually oh mixing things up is tight yeah. anyway joseph <laughs> manages to get good. away so john goes back to the hotel but an assassin lady tries to kill him i thought you weren't allowed to do that at the hotel you're, You're not. not? No, but somebody offered her a lot of money to break the rules. Oh, people can be bribed into breaking the rules. That doesn't seem like a safe place to stay at all. Well, anyway, he survives, so it all works out. <laughs> well, okay then. And then he finds out that Vigo runs a church as a front for some illegal stuff, so he blows all that stuff up. Oh, why does he do that? Well, that lures Vigo and his men out, so John gets a couple more headshots, but then he gets hit by a car. Oh, no. Yeah, not good, no. So then Vigo <laughs> has some of his guys suffocate him with a plastic bag. Well, it's going to be tough for him to get out of that situation. Actually, it's going to be super easy. 
Jesse. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, John's friend Marcus snipes one of the guys through a window, and then John manages to kill the other one. But isn't Vigo standing right there? Oh, no, he left. He left? Yeah, no, he figured his men can handle it, so, you know, he took off. But he's been trying to kill John this whole movie. He doesn't stick around for a minute to see if the job gets done. That's what we're going with. <laughs> John catches up with Vigo, and Vigo's like, okay, okay, I'll tell you where my son is, just don't kill me. And John agrees to that? That's what we're going with, because the movie's not done yet. Well, okay then. So then John kills Yosef in like two seconds. Oh, well, straight to the point. Yeah, so that's all done, but then Vigo kills Marcus, so John needs to get some more revenge. Oh, he does? Yeah, so he tracks down Vigo and kills his men, and that's when we have the movie's big showdown. So what's the big showdown? A fist fight with a 60-year-old. Hey, is this guy ripped or something? <laughs> not particularly, no. Is he like a, like a great martial artist? He's really laid it oh, okay. all thick here. So then John here. manages to kill this guy, and then He's he not finds wrong, a dog, yeah. and that's it. We're done. Doggy. So what do you think? Well, I think it sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks. I just feel like there's probably a big audience of Matrix fans out there that would love to see Keanu do some more action stuff, sure. you know? That's a good idea, and if it works, we could kick things up a notch in the sequel. How would we do that? I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> yeah. Look what Space Force gets. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> So that's, many, that's good. So many valid points in that, too. Hey, I love that. Like, no, we're not going to shove this mythology down your throat. Figure it out. I like that. That was, that was good. Thank you. Thank you to our friend that actually recommended that. Yes. Who shall be? Who shall remain nameless on this channel. Mm. Unless you just want us to mention it. Well, uh, but let us know, fam, if you want us to watch the other pitch meetings. I think we found two others Yeah. out there. Uh, we can certainly make videos for them as well. And that was fun. I'm not going to complain if you want us to. No, no, I can, I can dig that. <laughs> Especially to see the pitch meeting for part two and three. Yeah. Yeah. How do you pitch that? <laughs> that wouldn't. How, how bad could that be? So we're going to have John kill some people with pencils. Oh, my God. Hey, we're going to actually, uh, yeah, th that's part of the, what's, what did he say? That's part of the, uh, the myth that we're going to put back in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Please do, fam. If you enjoyed it, let us know, okay? Well, fam, as always, subscribe, hit the bells, leave likes, and, and subscribe again. So, <laughs> anyway, until next time, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. Catch you later, guys. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.